In this video, we'll look at the big picture view of fatty acid oxidation as per section 17.2 of Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry textbook. So, mitochondrial fatty acid oxidation takes place in three major steps, as illustrated in the graphic on the left. In the first stage, we have our long chain fatty acid, the 16 carbon palmitate which is being removed two carbons at a time in the form of acetyl-CoA. It is important to note that in step one, the formation of each acetyl-CoA molecule will require dehydrogenase enzymes or dehydrogenases to remove four hydrogen atoms from the fatty acyl moiety. So after all cycles of beta oxidation are completed, there will be eight acetyl coas to progress into stage two. In stage two, these acetyl coas are oxidized to carbon dioxide in the Krebs or citric acid cycle or TCA cycle, whatever of the three forms you prefer. And this step also occurs in the matrix of the mitochondria. NADH and FADH2 are reduced electron carriers that result from these first two stages of oxidation. And in the third stage, they will donate electrons to the protein complexes of the electron transport chain or respiratory chain. So electrons will pass through these complexes to oxygen and ADP will be phosphorylated to ATP at the same time, more or less. So this is how the energy from the oxidation of fatty acids is turned over or transferred to ATP. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.